Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Storm here. Jessica here. We are watching The Boys Season 4. We saw Gen V. We enjoyed that we series. Did. Yeah, it was fun. I liked that one. So excited for Season 2. Me too. And a lot of fans were telling us to watch Gen V first before Season 4 of The Boys because... I guess that will mesh into this one in some way. I guess we'll so find out. I guess we'll find out. So shall we just get into this episode and we'll talk about Let's it after? It. Let's do it. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I know her. Yeah, wait a minute. Are you helping? Are you just showing off? <laughs> both. Oh, sure, both. Yeah. Is that it? Would you, you copy? Butcher? Where the fuck is Butcher? Monsieur Charcuterie. He's gonna mess us up. Uh huh. They're being a drunk asshole. Hey, you little cunts. Oh, they're in on it. Mm hmm. Thought he was just being an asshole. I, mean, I know. He still was being an asshole, but this is what he does. <laughs> A gray pubic hair. Oh, no. Can't do. I gotta kill someone. Oh, no. So he still yeah, ages normally, monsters. huh? Absolutely gross. Why don't you take Ryan and try to find some, huh? What a great idea. Go for a sport. Does nobody come back pregnant? Oh, God. He's <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. They're too young. Although Ryan could spew goo if he wanted to. What the fuck are you doing here? Ew. Oh, I've supported every new administration. This man. There's so much wrong with his brain. Yeah. You're on trial for fucking murder. Hi, Doug. One, that's a formality. And two. It's a clear cut case of self defense. It's good for business as usual. God, it's it's crazy. <laughs> the crazy eyes. He's very good so at the good crazy at eyes. Yep. <laughs> Listen, boy, I've got a lot to say. The fuck will tell him to say it. I've got the lorry out back. I can get you out of here. What are you talking about? I know you're angry with me and you've got every right to be. But you know how dangerous a lender is. She's a soup now. Oh God, is she gonna have powers like her mom? I don't know. Why don't you wait outside? Oh God. Oh no. Ah, just... Oh shit. Oh, what the freak? Why is it so disgusting? She's a fucking soup. She's a fucking soup. A freaking snake things like worms. Yeah, I guess I'll just. Uh... Why? Wait, Why here. would that be a power? And she's like sinister doing it. Yeah, she's like a kid. Why is she murdering people? It's like she's done this many times already or something. Ew. I feel like even I thought she was a sweet kid. Oh, look at this took her arm! Oh my god! They catch her powers back. Ew. Uh, I thought 
she was a sweet kid. She's like a professional murderer. Yeah, she's just like. <laughs> oh my oh god. No, thank she's you. like Deadpool. <laughs> yeah, the sound effect. Whoa. Oh my god, she's gonna splat. Oh shit. Yeah, she can fly. A little baby oh, hand. Tiny hand. Oh no, she missed. Oh no, she's gonna splat for real. Oh. Oh, that was awful. It's gonna take a while to heal. Their baby hand. Oh man. Oh, that face is hanging off. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Why is she so murdery? Hey, you gotta teach Butcher the meaning of the word covert. Just got made by a 12 year old. You mean Zoe? You just murdered two guys? Vic, you, you shot your own daughter up with V? How could you do that to her? I needed to keep her safe. Safe? You turned her into a fucking monster. Don't do anything. No! Whoa! Oh my god, don't pop him! Seriously? I have to be on TV in like 10 minutes, you oh fucking no. asshole! We're gonna know you. We're gonna go to the press, tell them you blew up Congress, I still, I still got the record files. Yeah, Holy crap! Games. What am I saying? Look at you, of course you see fucking more games. <laughs> Mutually assured destruction. I hurt you, you out me. You out me, I killed everyone you've ever loved. Yeah. You guys were really close friends. We really <gasps> cared about Whoa! Him. Whoa! What is wrong with you, Butcher? Oh wow, she didn't even take a bullet! Oh my gosh, she's so casual! She's been shot before in the head. Jesus Christ. Oh my god! Butcher. Good you. You're lucky she didn't pop ya. Jeez. So fake. Ah, there it is. We might have to accept the possibility that Newman's invulnerable. Congress certifies the election. And Marie has similar powers. After that, a soup is one hundred. Yeah, right. Now we know that they're like the same powers. My fucking mm. heartbeat. Mm. Now That's I can true. only keep my distance from her for so long. Eliminating her is top priority. Which Marie survived fucking, job. fucking Homelander eye blast, so. Yep. Yeah. Oh no, we've been rickrolled. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Somewhere else you need to be. No, sir. Billy. Also, who has a rick tone? <gasps> oh my Under god! Under the age of 40. Fuck me, how long has it been? Uh, it's, uh, it's Negan! It's officially speaking. From The Walking Dead. You haven't seen The Walking Dead. I haven't seen The Walking Dead. That's so I do know cool. this guy from stuff. I do know him from stuff, but I don't know him from Walking Dead. Hey, let me buy you a bad cup of coffee. What? I hope he has the lean in the back. <laughs> That's such a surprise. Came up with that shit. Okay. How's he back? Sir, after that debacle at Godot Kid, thank you again for saving my life. How's he back? Oh. They mentioned the 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 They did, yeah. actually. I'm sorry. I got so thrown off by no Uh-oh. Here's some um, more people pandering to him, even though that's exactly what he wants. It's yeah. also not what he wants. Yeah, he wants, like, people. I agree, Kanda. Oh, God. He's going to do something to someone. Okay. Not in the, not in the microphone, sweetie. <laughs> what? I'm not kidding. Go over there, pull out Adrian's cock, and blow him. What? It always ends with something weird. Oh my god, he's gonna make him do that. Well, you know what? He, you know, forced Annie to do that. Holy crap. He's never, this isn't really gonna happen, right? 
Oh my god, I hope not. Holy... I gotta do whatever he says. Jesus, he guys! Ew, yeah, there's no choice! Oh my face. god! She's like, it's not me for once. Spectrum, right, bro? Get off the fucking face. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Not one of you has the stomach to challenge anything I say. Oh my god. I've got to carry this entire fucking company on my shoulders. You're right? <gasps> oh. Oh god. Oh god. Sorry, Ashley. Bye. Who's he looking at? Is he seeing things? You talked to someone at the beginning, too. He did. Hey, you're between a cock and an odd place. I'm willing to put you into that push VP slot, and he's going to make sure you spend the next four years away with the rings while he shoves it up your ass. I think I can handle mm -hmm. myself. Oh, you mean that nasty little virus they cook and I make the dog in? Mm-hmm. Oh. I know about it. Oh, yeah, you do need to know some Gen V stuff before this. Yeah. And then there's the art place. The full weight of the CIA and my boys working 24-7 at Tomia. I said five uh -oh. was admitted, it said. Oh. No. What happened? Oh, what's going on here? Mmm, little pinky touches. Sexy pinky touches? Sexy pinky touches. But I thought he and Kaneko, like, he, he was kind of funny about that, though, when she kissed him last season. Oh, It's freaking scary freaking underwear. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He's saving them. No. 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 <laughs> I am almost never surprised. Oh, God. Based on your public appearances, your stylist is dyeing your hair more often. Used to be every month, now it's every 2.4 weeks. Did she tell you you're going gray, or is she hiding it? So between that and Oh, he's gonna get mad and kill her. Oh no, I don't like this. Fucking I look at your hands. You've been washing them more often, so likely you've been peeing Oh, he's gonna totally often, kill her. Sense. You got a lot of power, but you do age. Plus, there's that small matter your own father almost killed you. Wow. <laughs> Any mouth breather could see you're going through some existential midlife. <gasps> it was. So what am I? It's pretty yeah. easy for someone whose power is a party trick. You are welcome to laser me. <gasps> oh no, he might. I'm guessing you need me in my party trick for something. <laughs> right, Kitty? I agree. I need advice. So far, I like her. Someone and we'll see how that goes. I don't know. I like her, but. This. Pull you apart a bit. Naturally. I'll pull you apart. I've spent my life. No fucking way. Why not? Because I'm not wearing some vaguely racist super suit in front of a bunch of clapping seals. Plus, I'm a black woman who is a thousand times smarter than you. Your ego can't handle it. I'm pretty smart myself. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> You're not, by the way. <laughs> really listen to you. You can stay here, reeking of Taco Bell and loneliness. Or some of your theories into practice on the global scale. When's the last time you got a chance like that? Oh my god. I feel like anyone who's really that smart would go to the library and spend spending money on all those books. Where old man post from? Thank you. Okay, try it. <laughs> You're almost like a person there. Yeah, I know. It's huge for him. Oh, you son of a bitch. You jerk. He always has a reason. I was so surprised to see him hug him. That sucks. <laughs> oh. 
That's sad. He doesn't like her that way. Aww. I love their friendship, though. Okay. Oh, that, I really thought they were going to be, like, together. I want you to take these bats and beat these gentlemen to death. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, it's like one of your tests. He wants to say no. No, this is not a test. I want you to beat these gentlemen to death. <sighs> no. Oh my god! Uh... Oh, this is gonna be so sick. Are you serious? And also, what's up with Noir? <gasps> oh, crap! I know! Holy crap! Jesus! Ah. He did it for you. Oh, my God. Wow. Yikes. Yo, what the fuck? That was so fucked up, you guys. What? Like, what is this with him? He's talking. It should be a distrial. Is that not noir? I, I feel like he's someone different. I mean, he had his guts pulled out last time. I mean, that makes sense. He just did a full body the suit. Just now. The verdict will be yeah. any moment, so stay with us. Oh, they're gonna. That's what she wanted to have the people do it for you. That's why they killed those guys, though. They're gonna bring them here and they're gonna blame it. They just has quite the power. Handed down a not guilty verdict. But that moment of national healing was cut tragically short. Violent attacks by Starlight supporters left three innocent patriots dead. The show makes me so respect. angry. Mm -hmm. wait until At the people in the show. We the names yep. of the victims. <laughs> His milk obsession. <laughs> Such a narcissist. Mm -hmm. What about you? Do you? Do you love me? God forbid anyone have an emotion that's not about him. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Noir was right. I was so fucked up. You have every right to be upset. I'm upset for you. Is he talking to the octopus? It's definitely an octopus. Oh, she's got a little thing! A little, a little version of him! Hey, so, I just finished reading Deadly Cross. How <laughs> the hell does Patterson do it? Ghost Riders. Like That's how Patterson does it, it's Ghost Riders. Cross, cross justice, <laughs> double cross, triple cross. For what it's worth, I think he can. Uh -huh. 
shit. Yeah. I didn't know his mom was alive. I had a clean shot at home, Lander. Game so set the fucking match. Brain tumors going on. Bubble. <laughs> you ever see that peach meme? <laughs> it's like a battle. It's a pooping. <laughs> oh my god. That was hilarious. <laughs> oh, look at. Oh, it's. Ooh, it's crawling up in his brain like that. Is it like a thing? Weird. What's like, that not about? Just like the tumor? Is it like a? Woo! Sorry, it's loud. Jamming. Okay. Um, crazy theories for episode one. Um, I kind of was thinking like him talking to Becca, like he's dying. Um. Many things could be wrong with his brain. His, he's hallucinating. Excuse me. Maybe it gave him some kind of superpower where he could talk to the dead, and he's actually talking to the dead. Um, but what was that? Yeah. So yeah. Well, so now that I've seen the little thingy, like I'm almost wondering if it's like someone fucking with him. Maybe. Could be. Could it be. It definitely could be. I mean, I, mean, it I don't could know just who be would be, but the brain tumor. You know pressing on his brain. I don't know. I feel like talking to the dead is it like a different realm of sci-fi supernatural stuff, you know? So I, that they haven't gone into in this world yet. Yeah, cuz I mean some of the powers are so random that I'm like they probably have something like that. I mean they have people who they, can read minds, but, I, but it's different. It's all physical, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. So so maybe this not. Is metaphysical. Not the top not of my head. That would be metaphysical. So that it would be new. It would be different. Yeah. And and you're definitely right. I see what you're saying. I'm just like, is yeah. there anyone else that can do stuff like that? But no, you're right. I don't think so in this universe. But um, wow. First episode this season. Holy crap. Um, a lot happening here. Todd is gone. I thought he was going to be a major problem throughout this whole season. And nope, and they killed him first episode. Yeah. My God. And then um, Sage, like her having, like being super smart. Like I think Megamind. There's like so many like people like villains and stuff that yeah. are super super smart but for some reason like it's it still messes with me because there's so many bad people in Vought that I'm thinking oh Sage she's probably innocent and, and a sweet person and has no clue what she's going to get herself into you know working with Homelander and and she's really smart and she's more realistic I guess and you know she knows she does what benefits her or knows what's going to work yeah, best. Yeah, she's obviously cool with just having people killed. So Just sitting there, no flinching, no nothing. Yeah. She doesn't care. So I was um, very shocked to see that. And not even necessarily, like, you could argue maybe that she was just like, oh, these guys are Homelander people or whatever. So maybe she felt, like, less bad about getting them hurt and killed. Mm -hmm. But, like, she started the fight that would get a bunch of Starlighters hurt and possibly killed, too. Yeah, so. that was bad. You know, and maybe because she's so smart, she, like, justifies in her own head that Probably. it's okay. And that's why she doesn't flinch, because she calculates it. Or maybe she doesn't have any, like, real emotions, you know? Like, almost like, like super autistic, you know? Like, something where... Um, like, you know, she has one major incredible talent, but, like, other parts, like, you know, where emotions are involved or removed or something. I mean, we have autism in our family, and, um, I don't know, so it just made me think, because she doesn't care when people get their heads bashed in. She didn't even, like, have a little bit of empathy there. No. So. I, my first, my first thought is Ozymandias from Watchmen, um, if you're familiar with that, uh, which, spoilers for mm -hmm. Watchmen, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Comics oh, from the 1970s. Yes. Because um, Ozymandias is essentially, that that's, you know, his thing in a lot of ways. Like, he's like, I'm the super smart guy. I've come up with this plan and I will. If, like, he doesn't care what gets in his way. And it's a series of dominoes, you know. Like, he doesn't necessarily have to get his hands dirty for a lot of it. Mm -hmm. 
but he sets up the dominoes so that things go the way that he wants them to do. And that seems to be what she's doing here. And she's a major threat. Her working with Homelander, like, wow. Yeah, like that um, worked out a lot better than I thought it would. Yeah. I'm, yeah, she I'm, has access to stuff. I'm curious, and I don't know if it's going to be end up being, like, she is going to for sure be working for Homelander here, or if she's got her own uh, plan. I was kind of thinking that, too. I mean, I really think she might have her own plan there if she's that smart, you know? Like, she yeah, had like, Homelander figured idiot. out right away. Yeah, because, you know, her not being shocked by anything, she read Homelander right away, and then she's like, are you just going to laser me or what? Like, she just knows what he's about completely. So I think she has her own plan going on when the time is right. So I'm curious what that's going to be. Um, I have to jump to Jeffrey Dean Morgan being in this freaking show who plays Negan <laughs> on The Walking Dead. I was so excited to see him, and then I had a billion thoughts in my head, and I'm like, I hope he's a good guy. I don't know. He's working with Butcher. What's, is he soup? Is he human? And I'm like, he's human. And uh, but yeah, so it's actually really cool to see him in this. And Jessica's never seen The Walking Dead. I have, um, and and I actually I really enjoy it. I it took a lot of convincing um, to get my mom and sister to watch The Walking Dead because they were just thinking zombies gore. They didn't want to watch or be committed to a show just focusing on that. But they loved that show. Like they were so invested. So anywho, Negan's a big character on that show and a great actor. Um, so I was, I'm very happy to see that he's in this show. And I hope his head doesn't blow up because that'll make me sad. <laughs> Which I, I just mentioned, Watchmen. He plays the comedian in the Watchmen movie. Yes, that was another thing I wanted to say. Yes, he does. And um, seeing him, I can't remember exactly the timeline, but um, I think when we watched Watchmen. On the channel with my mom and sister, that was before Negan was introduced in The Walking Dead. Mm. So, unfortunately, they couldn't compare because there was a little bit of a gap, like a few months or something, of us watching that movie, Watchmen, and then um, watching uh, The Walking Dead. And yeah. I had to like, tell them, like, oh, that's... Uh, Jeffrey D. Morgan, who was in Watchmen, and then they're like, oh, but I think it would have, like, <laughs> hit harder, because, like, Negan, he's, you know, a main character in The Walking Dead, so, you know, watching that for a long time, that would have been more of a reaction to be like, oh, my God. Like, Ooh, Negan. Yeah, like, yeah, I know him, oh, my God. So, anywho, I'm happy he's in this show, and, um, you know, I don't know, Homelander, he's great at being sadistic, crazy, scary, he and has those crazy eyes down. He's to so a, good with that. And art. Yeah. <laughs> and his son, I'm, I'm so sad that I hope he'll do the right thing and, you know, leave Homelander if he can. I don't even know if that's possible. Like, we're just going to have to take him away. But, um, you know, he you can see, like, the innocence in his eyes. Like, he's following his dad because it's his dad. But, um, yeah, it's just not a good situation at all. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that. Because, I mean, they open up the episode with a 12-year-old murdering people. Yes. Okay. I get so the like, boys' universe. I feel like their innocence... They, they use innocence a lot differently. Like, children don't equate innocence in this world, I guess, is what I'm kind of going for. Okay. So, we don't know Zoe well at all. And I just assume she was an innocent kid... Maybe she was a sadistic kid. Maybe the compound V really screwed up her head. But just because, like, we'll say she's a sweet kid, okay? Um, just or because just she gets normal, these gross... A baseline child. Yeah, baseline child, okay? Child. Okay, just because she has snake worm things in her mouth doesn't mean she's going to be triggered to be this, this, yes. this sadistic, crazy, violent right. kid that doesn't even window. give a crap about what she's doing. She's like a predator of like, ah, like a like, demon. I mean, unless, again, like her brain changed because of the compound V and that's part of like what she is, not part of her power. Um, that just didn't make any sense to me because she seemed like such a sweetie with her mom and just a normal, innocent kid. Um, who got the V because mom said this is going to protect you, but that was just way too random for me and too violent. Like, um, I, I would, it, like, it would make more sense if she couldn't control it. And she was like, no, and then she would lunge or something. But just yeah, to be like all into like, it, I was like, what? There's this sense of, uh, like, propriety is not quite the right word I'm looking for, but like a social, like, barrier that comes up. When you're a kid and there's like 
adults there and there's not your adult just adults you don't know Mm -hmm. you know like you don't talk back to them and you don't like start craft with them you know if Mm -hmm. anything you go find the adult you do know you know like you there's this like uncomfortableness i guess when you're a kid because you you don't know them and you don't know how to interact with them when you're a normal baseline you're a normal baseline child you're just like this is weird i'm a go right yeah call your mom you leave you don't murder two guys and try to get and be into it and be like oh i'm savage you know i mean again like if i had a knife in my hand i wouldn't go and try to stab them right like yeah and and enjoy it and be like "Ah," i'm like licking the knife and stuff because she was like eating their face like yeah it's just that kind of like that it wouldn't be the stabbing wouldn't be the on the list of a first 100 things I could possibly do. Like, it's mm-hmm. so far down the list of items in my yeah, head. Yeah, like, run and call 911 or something, you yeah. know, or, or find your mom. Call my yeah. mom. Yeah, so that was something. way too extreme. Scream. Like, li- like, so much down the list before, yeah, I guess I'd just kill them. <laughs> you know, and her mom seemed really cool with it, where she's like, yeah, my my 12-year-old just took well, out all these it. guys, and she's fine with, you know, she's totally fine with it. So the only overthinking I can do or make excuses for that is because, is that Newman is, like, training her child in that way to be like, yeah, we're better than normal people, and you got to defend yourself, so. But Which still, for her and to she... really just be okay with it that young, like, she hasn't been a suit for long. It was just surprising. And the thing, the Natural. thing with Newman is I, I can't tell, like, Homelander is an idiot. And he's mm-hmm. very obviously an idiot. Yeah. So when he does stupid stuff, you're just like, well, it's because he's an idiot. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Newman seems like a at least fairly intelligent person. Not like Sister Sage or what have you, intelligent, but just like, baseline intelligence like she gets she gets the things happen and stuff like for her to be like yeah it's okay for my 12 year old to murder people i know i know and you know newman her power is incredible and super scary super gory like that's mortifying on how she actually like blows people up all the time and you know sometimes you can see like she doesn't want to do that like when she blew up her friend and she kept missing his head or something when Huey found out who she was when he was hiding behind the dumpster um and then even talking to Huey here and she you know she had tears in her eyes like she really does like Huey like she does have you know these um connections that she really does care on a human level but other times she's just so brutal and like gloats about yeah. it that I'm just like I I don't know like maybe she's just a psychopath ground. and she's just faking her emotions and it doesn't come off that way because we get to see her with her child like without people around and she's a great mom it seems like like she really cares for her her, her Which, kid and and one would think if you cared for your child you wouldn't want them to murder people i know i know and again like the brutality of this world i get it but some sometimes certain characters it, it confuses me a little because i'm like where yeah. does it stop you know it, 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 she seems like someone who understands the concept of trauma and therefore would not want to traumatize her child you know exactly yeah i agree and that's what where, kind like, of threw me Homelander off so. doesn't doesn't understand the concept of trauma. Mm-hmm. So he's fine with murdering someone in front of his child. Oh, know? yeah. Yes, he, he has no qualms about it. Uh, oh, God, and that makes sense for his character. Says. It's just really weird for her, I feel like. Mm-hmm. Me her. too, I agree. We'll have to see how it plays out. I agree. So can't wait for the next episode guys thank you so much for watching with us can't wait to read your comments please like and subscribe please comment below so we can engage the video more so we can get more views and we'll see you soon bye guys bye.